everyone. Um, first of all, I, I just want to say that uh, thank you for all for coming uh, here this morning. Uh, Sammy and I just got in last night, and uh, it's my first time in, in Stockholm. It's a gorgeous city. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, we're going to be leaving a few hours after this, so uh, wonderful airport. Fantastic <laughs> airport. Uh, the hotel was nice. <laughs> Yeah, we, we wish we could stay longer, but um, you know, let's go ahead and, and get started. Um, as Tom mentioned, uh, we're just going to give a quick overview of the company uh, just very quickly because uh, we know um, maybe not necessarily all of you may be familiar with Blizzard Entertainment, so um, let's get started here. So uh, Blizzard was founded in, in 1991. Um, it was founded by uh, Mike Morheim, Alan Adham, and Frank Pierce. and um, you know, the company got started with uh, Amiga and PC ports. Um, you know, Sammy's been with us since 91 as well, so maybe you can tell us about what it was like to make some of our first games. Ask the old dinosaur, okay. <laughs> uh, well, when I started, uh, we were working on Amiga and PC ports, but one of the first kind of Blizzard-style games, we weren't Blizzard back then, we were Silicon and Synapse. It's a very catchy name. Uh, but we were working on a, a game that was going to be the sequel to RPM Racing. And we changed it so much and added a little bit more uh, science fiction elements. We changed it into rock and roll racing. That was the first game I started working on. Uh, the first game that came out that we did was The Lost Vikings, which was also sort of a similar game to uh, Lemmings that was out there. And by the time we got done blizzardifying it, it was down to three, three Vikings. So it was definitely one of the first starts where we started injecting some of the the Blizzard uh, humor and style into the games we were working on. Fun time back then. Games took less than a year to make. <laughs> so <laughs> awesome. Takes uh, a little bit longer than that now, right? Slightly. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so um, after Blizzard ma made uh, some original Super Nintendo games, so uh, we went on to make Warcraft Orcs and Humans in 1994 on the PC. And uh, that game actually started 11 back-to-back -back number one selling games. And some of you may be familiar uh, with these with these franchises that you see here. Um, so you know, moving on to you know from 1991 to today, 2010, Blizzard is a global entertainment company. And uh, you know we've got a picture here from uh, I believe this is WWI from uh, from 2008 when we were in France. And obviously, we're here today talking with all of you. Um, you know, our games are, are played around the world. Uh, we've got our games in 12 different languages, um, more than 4,000 employees, and eight offices across seven countries. That must be crazy for you. It used to take uh, you know, two cars for all of us to go to lunch. Now we can't fit it in four buses. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you're here today. Did you imagine doing that? No, no. no. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty amazing how big Blizzard has grown and it's because of all the fans and, and friends out there that helped make us such an awesome company. So thanks. <laughs> thanks everyone. And um, you know, even even beyond uh, making the games, which is, is uh, quite a task in itself, um, you know, we've really become a, a service company in a lot of ways and a lot of these 4,000 uh, plus employees um, are, are a big part of that customer service initiative and we provide 24-7 uh, service to our players. So um, again, today, you know, how did we get from you know three employees to over four thousand? Um, it's it's really a commitment to quality as well as a, a big focus on online play. Um, Blizzard's been a pioneer in online gaming across you know North America, Europe, and, and Asia, and a big part of that is, is BattleNet, our online service that has been um, you know up since 1996 with the original Diablo. And you know, being an online company and having our games, you know, have a big multiplayer focus has helped us grow our audience with every release. You know, our our leadership. You know, in the gaming industry, there's a lot of turnover. Um, it's very unusual for for the leadership, you know, executives in a company to have so much time in one place. But our our executives and people like Sammy, our, our senior developers, have an average of 15 years uh, experience with just with Blizzard. You know that's that's an amazing thing for us. You know, so you know now we have more than 750 developers across multiple teams. 
you know, uh, Sammy's on the, the StarCraft two team. We've also have the World of Warcraft team, Diablo three, and you know some other some other projects. You know, and so you know, how is it that we've been able to grow so much and have this kind of kind of success? Well, I, I think the main thing we try to do is when we started the company, uh, it was it was all gamers that started. You know, they're guys that were just really passionate about video games, and we try to keep that philosophy as we hired more and more people. And even though now we have separate teams, you know, it's the same on those on the Diablo team as it is the WoW team, the StarCraft team. Uh, this is actually one of the bullpens on the le on the left side is uh, some of the guys on the StarCraft team. Uh, we usually put a lot of the, the artists together in bullpens to keep a strong creative kind of environment going. If people are in their offices just working away, it tends to kind of water down the creativity. Um, and this event here, we just had another one on a Friday before we left. This is uh, the company gets together and we have big giant uh, guitar hero contests and they make uh, kind of made up bands. Uh, some of the bands that we had were like WoW inspired, Mega Death Knight, uh, Fell Iron Maiden, things like that. Uh, so this is at the, the company watching the events over actually where you guys would be now, they set up a big stage and everything, so it's, there's still a huge uh, gaming culture at Blizzard, not even, not even necessarily our games, people just love playing video games there, so I think that's the reason why we're so successful at making them, is because we love playing them. Yeah, and you know, that all feeds into you know, what our, our mission statement is, you know, dedicated to creating the most epic entertainment experiences ever. Ever! <laughs> And you know, again, how we do that, as Sammy alluded to, is you know we have some very specific core values. You know, uh, gameplay first, learn and grow. Um, you know, just think globally. You know, we're we're here talking with all of you today because you know our global audience is, is very important to us. And um, embrace your inner geek. You saw that from the bullpen. You know, all these all these crazy movie posters and, and you know anime. Everyone's got action figures on their desks. You know, drawing inspiration from a, a lot of places is, is is a big part of you know the secret sauce yeah. at at Blizzard. And you know what you see here, this is a this is a 12 foot uh, bronze orc statue, and this is sitting right up in, in our courtyard at our headquarters. And these eight uh, core values are etched in bronze around that statue. Yeah, this is actually an old yeah. older photo. They did they had a they have a ring around the statue now that has like kind of. Little okay. arrows pointing out and plaques with each one of these on the side. Yeah, so you know these are these are very important values for us. And every time we hire somebody, um, you know, we immediately immerse them in the culture, and that's been a big part of our our success. 